this video is all about learning the chromatic scale or put in a much more simpler term this is a video about learning the notes on the guitar and where they are I remember having this guitar lesson years and years ago from a guy who lived down the road from me. It was the one lesson and only lesson I ever had with him. And basically, the lesson revolved around him showing me something that looked like a piece of paper covered in letters and symbols. And uh, he said, uh, okay, now go away and come back next week and have that memorized. And uh, I just thought, you know, what? That's not fun. <laughs> so, 23 years later, I'm a guitar teacher now. I've been a guitar teacher for, for quite a long time. I've definitely had that in my mind as, as a way that I don't want to teach. And what I want to try and do is teach the same thing that he was trying to teach me to you, but in a way that I hope will be much more useful to you and will help you to get started with chord theory uh, and music theory in general. The thing to remember with all of the notes is you basically have the alphabet of A to G. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Above each of those letters is what's called a sharp note. So it would be the letter followed by the letter sharp. So A to A sharp. Now there's only one thing that I need you to remember right now, which you just have to keep in your brain. There is no B sharp and there is no E sharp. That's the two exceptions. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to choose string 5 and it's very important to remember that the strings are numbered from the thinnest string to the thickest string. So this is string 1, string 2, string 3, string 4, string 5, string 6. So we're going to play string 5, okay? Now this note is called A. We're going to follow that pattern, okay? So we're going to have A and A sharp. Now the next one again higher is going to be B. Now as you remember there's no B sharp so when we go up again this is C. C sharp, D, D sharp, E. Okay, hopefully you're screaming F. There is no E sharp, this is F. F sharp, G, G sharp, and then when we get to fret 12, we're playing another A, okay? And the distance between this open string and this one here is all 12 notes, and it's actually called an octave. Hopefully that makes sense. Now the next step that we need to do is apply that just to any other string. The names of the open strings are as follows. E, A, D, G, B, E. And the way I remember this as a child when I started learning the guitar was elephants and donkeys grow big ears. Okay, so hopefully that helps you remember the names of the strings. All we do now is when we start from a different string, we can play string two, which is the B string. Elephants and donkeys grow big ears, okay? This note here is B. So what comes after B? What did I ask you to remember before? There's no B sharp. So B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B on fret 12. So the open string is B, fret 12 is B. Okay, so you're not expected at the moment to memorize where all of the notes are on the guitar. But the main thing to remember is the order of the notes. So rule number one, there is no B sharp, there is no E sharp. And then if you remember that one thing, hopefully everything will be fine. So it's A to G for your alphabet. Everything has a sharp except for B and E. So this is the first video in a series of videos I'm going to be making to try and explain what chord theory is, how it works, and how it relates to the guitar. So uh, I'd love to hear any questions you have. Please put them in the comments section below. And thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.